What's up guys? Today we're going to be comparing diastatic malt powder and sugar in the dough. Guys, so both doughs are identical, same flour, it's an unmalted flour, it's Caputo Pizzeria Zero Zero Pizza Flour, Pizzeria, and uh, the only difference is this dough contains sugar and this dough contains diastatic malt powder, everything else will be the same. So it's going to be 2% salt, 2% sugar or malt, depending on which one, 2% oil, and 0.2% yeast. I'm going to go for a 48 hour cold ferment or in that ballpark. So I'm doing 300 grams of flour and 200 grams of water, or 180 grams of water, I'm sorry going for right around I'll do 190 actually so it's right between uh, 60 and 67 there we go and uh, I got two bowls I got this blue bowl and this gray bowl but since sugar is a bigger word than malt I'll do the sugar in the, uh, the bigger bowl so I'm going to throw my sugar and I'm going to throw my yeast in. I'm going to throw my flour in. My salt in. And I'm just going to go ahead and just early on drizzle all my oil in. I'm going to get a rough mix of this. Then a rough mix of the other one. the malt dough in the small bowl. Beautiful. So once again, this time I'm going to throw a malt in. And I'm going to throw my yeast. God, that malt smells so good. My flour. My salt. I'm just going to drizzle that oil in there again too. And uh, before I actually rough mix this, I'm going to get this to a good spot so where I can knead it so I can clean off this tool.
Alright, so let's put these bowls aside here. I'm going to actually move this over here so my sugar is on the right because sugar has the same amount of letters as right and malt has the same amount of letters as left. I literally can't remember anything unless I do stuff like that. Ask my wife. Thanks, babe. Alright, so I forgot which one's which. Just kidding. So there's my malt dough. Since I just mixed this one up, I'm going to start kneading my sugar dough. I'm basically going to give each like a minute or two of kneading and switch again. Alright, so I'm about to turn my timer off. It's been about 15 minutes. Got my sugar dough. Gonna build some tension on it. Beautiful, pop that back there. I got my malt dough. Do the same thing. Pop it there. So, I'm just going to cut each one in half-ish, roll it up nice and tight, tight like a toyga.
that's going to go in the fridge for about 48-ish hours, anywhere from 36 to 60 hours. Alright guys. My butthole hurts. Her butthole hurts. <laughs> Anyways. I'm starting it over. I'll just edit that out. This is the malt dough. 2% salt, 2% oil. It smells like the malt, which is, just so you guys know, an absolutely gorgeous smell. You can see it's nice and airy. And here is the sugar dough. 2% salt, 2% oil, same deal. Same amount of airiness for the most part. So, let's see how they cook. I'm going to start with the malt. So I pop it on my flour and semolina mix. Let me get my stuff. This is the point, if you don't already have your stuff ready, better get it. I went to the restaurant and I bought some grande, just for you guys. Whenever you get these, you gotta like break it up, cut right there. And that's where you can open it. After this pizza, I'm gonna put it in a container. Probably after both pizzas. Container, he needs my face. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put all this cheese on her face. <laughs> A bit in my mouth. In her mouth. Anyways, um, got my nice spoony spoon. So the side that was up, we'll start up. This is how I make pizza. Push the air to the outside. Same deal. And I'm just gonna stretch it like this. Sprinkle a little of my mix down there. Toss it up, cheese it up, we're making some New York style cheese pizzas today. Shredded mozzarella is best for the home oven by the way. Alright, it's been about five minutes, give this bad boy a spin. And it's gonna get two more minutes for a total of seven minutes cooking. I might drop this down to six minutes. Once that thing turns to one minute left on the timer, I'm gonna pull it. So both pies will cook for six minutes total at 5.50. There we go, timer off. Oh yeah. Realistically, it probably only needed um, five minutes. Pizza for breakfast. So, I mean, I'm trying not to flip all the cheese. It's got a nice undercarriage. Nice crispy top there. Let's hear the, the cutting sounds. ASMR. Crumb looks good. 
My dog's running over here already. While that cools. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the sugar dough in. My girlfriend will probably come. Uh -huh. She never comes, but she'll <laughs> she'll come and probably try the uh, the pizza and give us a little taste test. Is it ready? Mm-hmm. Just came out. And you know the dog's gonna try the crust. And since there's no garlic or onion in the sauce, it's safe for my dog to eat. Thank God, right, buddy? You can probably see his little cute face right there. Pizza for breakfast. Pizza for breakfast. <laughs> I gotta make another one, so I'm gonna make it right here. I'm gonna try this. Taste test. Okay. Yeah, I gotta let that stone heat up anyway, so. Ooh, look at that cheese bowl. Is it hot, you think? Probably. It came out of the oven roughly one minute ago. <laughs> so that's that's the jurisdiction there. Is that it is hot. Oh. Alright, time to make the sugar dough. We should make a pizza using the not my hands challenge. Oh god, that would be rough. <laughs> it's hard enough to if you were looking at it, doing it. I could do it with your being your hands though. Alright, time for the sugar dough in all seriosity. Same method. So I just put a piece on here, so I want to wipe off the grease with a little sprinkle. Two spoonfuls, just like before. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Take a bite of the crust. Let me know what you think about that. Mmm. Look at that crumb shot. She's learning. Look at it. Beautiful. Mmm, this one's good. And keep in mind, this was made with an unmalted flour, and I got beautiful browning. I don't know how to describe the difference from this one and the last week's one. Oops, sorry. Don't get in the way. Number one rule. So I'm going to set a timer for five minutes once again. All right, let's see. I've never had a pizza with diastatic malt powder in my life. It's different, and I don't know how to describe it. That's amazing. Try it with the cheese. Mmm. It's good, right? Uh, yeah, and it's got some bend to it. It's not like breaking and cracking like it's too dry or anything. It's like perfect. I'm trying to describe what the difference is. Maybe it's the texture that's the difference. Yeah, and the taste, I think, too. It has, like, like, remember the diastatic malt powder was stuff that smelled like taco malt balls? Uh-huh. Mmm. Yep. I've done the same recipe with sugar, and this killed it before, so. We'll see, though. It's got amazing crumb shots. I, I think she just likes saying crumb shots. No. <laughs> it, it does. It does. Mm -hmm. Look at the dough. Mm-hmm. That's too good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. I can't describe how it's different. It's different to me. Maybe the sauce? No. That's good. Yummy. Mmm. Turkey said the whole about me. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, I think texture wise, taste wise, it's amazing. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't buy diastatic malt powder a long time ago. So for my, uh, my loyal viewers watching who have probably already seen my sauce video, I like my seasoning very light and tasting the tomatoes, but if you want, you can definitely add some more salt. I feel like if this was a restaurant, I'd probably add a little more salt, a little more oregano, a little more dried basil. But uh, you'd rather get a recipe where you're starting low and can always add more to taste, because once you put it in the sauce, you can't take it out of the sauce. None but that. Again, the nice dense New York crumb. And it's got some bend, but not real flop, you know, especially if I fold it. It's together. Tastes amazing. Alright guys, it's got similar browning, but not quite as brown in six minutes. Got a real nice undercarriage once again. So very similar pizzas. And I always give it about a minute before I cut the pizza, just to let the cheese stop bubbling and settle. Because if you don't, then you grab a slice and the cheese flies off. A little pro tip. So even 30 seconds or so like that is perfect. Pretty nice little crumb on that. That's kind of a good part of it, but this has like very little bend to it. The malt gave it a little more flimsiness. With the same amount of oil, same amount of everything. And this might even be a little thinner of a pizza. But it's still really good and crispy. If I fold it, it cracked a little but didn't completely break, which you want to see. So, look wise, they're very similar. The malt got a little more brown to it in six minutes, just a tiny bit. That's a good looking New York pizza right there. Let that one cool. Have the last slice of the malt.
thing I also like to do, I like to sprinkle a little oregano on top of the pizza after it's done. That's why I don't season the sauce way too much because there's something about the actual dry oregano on top that makes it absolutely amazing. You know what I just found out? What? That Nick Cannon doesn't have to be a child support because after 10 kids, the courts don't make you pay. Dang. Isn't that crazy? So you're saying I can have 11 kids and just leave you and I don't have to pay a dime? Yep. Damn. Not happening. <laughs> So that's a good looking pizza pie. It's probably still really freaking hot, but it's the best time to try it. Whoop! Hot. Mmm. Mmm. Dough with the sugar is a lot more bland than the malt. In this terms of taste of the dough, the malt destroys the same recipe with sugar. Still a really good dough. So if you can't get diastatic malt powder, sugar will be wonderful. I just love, it looks so good. Look at that one. That's, that goes into the method. Oh yeah. Mmm. That was good. Which one do you like better, first one or second? First. Mm -hmm. Is that the malt powder? Is it really? Yep. Damn. So the malt wins the showdown in both my expert opinion I and, you say and her girlfriend. pro, extreme, ultimate expert opinion of my girlfriend, who is not wearing pants. Yeah, you make pizza like this, you'll have a girlfriend walking around with no pants in no time. I promise you. <laughs>